Hey everyone, welcome back to part 16 of my Create Mod series. Now today I'm going to go over on how to make an automatic andesite farm. If you enjoy this video, definitely feel free to drop a like, definitely feel free to subscribe. I'm always going to be bringing out new Create Mod content, so if you're interested in that, definitely feel free to subscribe. Anyways, this farm is not actually my own design, it's actually from Grimwald, who's one of the creators of the Create Mod. Uh, I reached out to him, I got permission for him for this design, he said he didn't need a link in his social media just to give him a shout out, so I, uh, I figured I'd give him a shout out. But anyways... Let's jump straight into the video. So everything you are going to need for this video is inside of this chest. So uh, let me go through a couple different things. These blocks of glass can be any type of block. I'm using this just so you can see uh, how the machines are moving as I'm building it. Um, these stairs, they just can't be wooden stairs, but they can be any type of stair that's not flammable. Uh, and then let's go through everything else. All of these different machines here I've made in previous videos. So if you don't know how to make them, either hop on my Discord and I can send you some recipes or use like just enough items and you can just figure out uh, on how to make these guys. Uh, other than that, these are the rest of the machines um, that we're ending up needing. So let me go ahead and start crafting these guys because we have not messed with fluids at all on this channel. Uh, one other thing though. There are three lava buckets here, two water buckets, and then another water bucket and another lava bucket. Now that seems like a lot of buckets. Uh, in summary, you need at least three water sources. So however you want to obtain that, I've just put three buckets of water. Uh, technically, you can make an infinite water source with two and then just use one bucket. Uh, but same as lava, you're going to need at least four things of lava. And this one you're going to need more of depending on how much andesite you would like to craft. And you'll see what I mean as I'm starting to build this machine. Uh, but these three buckets are required that you at least need three sources of lava. But uh, yeah, let's grab all the items. Let's run through the crafting. All right, so the very first thing we're going to craft is this fluid pipe. Now, this is two copper sheets and a copper ingot. If you don't know how to get sheets, uh, I'm going to link the very first episode of my series. I talk about how to get sheets. Uh, it's very simple, just using a mechanical press. But we're going to make eight of these guys. We're not going to all use all eight. You're definitely going to have extras, but that's that's totally fine. The next thing we're going to make is the mechanical pump. So you're going to need a cog wheel uh, and a fluid pipe. We're actually going to make two of these guys. So let's craft two of them. And then the next thing we're going to make is this fluid tank, which is two copper casings, two copper nuggets, and a piece of glass. Copper casings is six planks, one log, and two copper sheets, and that makes four. And then we're going to make uh, two fluid tanks. Now, we're only going to use one, but same thing. You have some extras. The encased chain drives, we're going to use two shafts, one andesite casing, and two iron nuggets to make one, and we're going to make four of those guys. Or excuse me, it makes two, and we're going to make four. Now we're also going to grab an item drain, which is a copper casing and a thing of iron bar. So now that we have that, we have all of our items. So let me go over here and let me show you uh, how this machine works first off. So uh, one thing that I wanted to reach out about is that we have our item drain here that pulls lava from when we right click to place it in here and places it inside of our fluid tank and then sends it up to our machine to uh, essentially, it's a huge part of the step to turn gravel into andesite. We need lava. Now, we also have a creative motor right here. This could be any type of power source. Uh, that being said, um, water wheels, encased fan, power sources should be fine. This is running at 16 RPMs. And we also have a second one over here that's running at 16 RPMs. So both of these guys, you just need some kind of power source. Now, down here, you might see on how I have set this up so it's user-based, that you're just going to use a bucket of lava, you're going to place it in, and that'll turn uh, everything into andesite. If you find some other system, like you're in the nether or something, and you're going to pull some lava and just place it inside this fluid tank, that works as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and build this thing. I'm building it on survival mode, and I've built this kind of... Uh, kind of a tempo or template of like what it would be in the survival world. So let's say you want to build this entire machine underground. Uh, basically, you would do this exact same steps that I'm doing. So essentially, I have one, two, whoops, three, four, five, six, and then I'm on the seventh block down into the ground. Now, you're going to have your power source come in vertically up right here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is take a fluid tank and we're going to place it just like so. Now we're going to grab a, uh, where is it, a small cog wheel. And we're going to place it on top of our power source so it starts rotating. And we're going to take a, uh, where is it? We're going to take a mechanical pump. And we're going to place one. Now, he placed it correctly. That's totally fine because we will fix him in a moment. Um, so let's, uh, let's actually fix him really quick by doing, placing it from the top. So he places and he starts spinning. And then we're going to place a basin like this as well. So now it's connected to the bottom. And if we look at it, you can see the arrow, it's going to pull lava from the fluid tank and send it into the bottom of the basin. Now we also have to do one other step. So we're going to go behind it 
and we're going to click this onto the side so it's going to be pulling lava into the fluid tank and we just need to take our item drain and place it right here. Now we're eventually going to place lava into this but for now I'm going to hold off so it doesn't start using it before we're done building the machine. Now our next step is to take a chute and we're going to place it off of our mechanical pump. So now our basin connects to our chute and then we're going to take our chest and we're going to place that underneath. Now next we're going to run up top a couple levels and we're now at the level where the basin is. We're going to take a hopper. We're going to place it so that it's connected to the basin and we're going to do this on all three sides right here. All right, our next step is we're going to grab our millstones. Uh, if I can find where to put them, we're going to place them on top of our hoppers just like that. Now we're also going to take a small cog wheel and we're going to place it off of the basin so it's connected to these three uh, millstones and then we could take a mechanical press and we're going to place it so that the shaft side is facing where our power source is going to be on this side. So uh, then we're just going to grab a shaft. We're going to place it, if I can place it correctly, place it so that it's facing out. We'll take um, our cog wheels and let's place one, two, three, four like that. And then we're going to grab a, uh, where is it, a vertical gearbox, place it like that. It's going to start making all of our cog wheels now spin. And now our next step is that we're going to take um, our hoppers. We're going to place one on top of here. We're going to place one like that and one like that so that our items are now transporting in, in our direction that we would like. So all I've done is I've cleared out a little bit more of a space behind here. That should be totally fine, especially if you're building in your regular world. Uh, I just realized I didn't have a spot to connect uh, cog wheels. But on top of this hopper, we're going to place another uh, millstone, place another one here. And you're going to see it's not powered, so we're just going to take cog wheels and just place one, two, three, and it'll power that one as well for us. So our next step now is we're going to take a shaft right here, place our shaft. Then we're going to take an encased, uh, encased chain drive. Yeah, encased chain drive, and we're going to place it vertically up and down, and then these guys are going to go horizontal like that. Now, next up, we're actually going to run downstairs really quick, uh, and let's go over here, because uh, we need to power this mechanical pump. So the best way to do that is if we take a cog wheel like this, we take a cog wheel, whoops, we take a cog wheel like that, and then we're going to take a vertical gearbox and place that, so now it'll start pulling it into, uh, into our fluid tank. We can even take our lava bucket now, and right click it so now it'll start going into the fluid tank and then we'll head back up top all right so we're back at the top now so we're going to go ahead and take our three mechanical drills and we're going to whoops we're going to place them like this so they start spinning it's going to collide with the mechanical press but that's totally fine that's what we're looking for then over here above these small cog wheels we're going to place a cobblestone stair place another one and another one and whoops we are going to want them to uh, have this little like l shape now our next step is we're actually going to take some water buckets and we're going to place them so that they're inside of these stairs like this. Now it's going to flood our machines a little bit, but that is totally fine. And then we can grab some glass and let's go ahead and place glass right there. Uh, let's place a couple more pieces of glass right there. So now we have our three water right here. Now our next step is we're going to place some glass on top of this, on top of there, and on top of there. And then we're going to grab our lava and we're going to place it right above here. Now it's going to start actually turning all of this into stone and then the stone's going to go into the millstone and then if we head all the way down down to here uh, we'll see if I can get a good angle. So I've come down to the bottom and I've gone into creative mode so I could show you. So once they go into this millstone they end up falling into this basin down here and then it ends up getting pressed and it turns into and a site. So that's a nice little automated process. All you need to uh, basically fuel this is lava that you just place into your item drain. So if you have a good source of lava, such as the nether, you technically have infinite and a site without having to go mine this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know this was a, probably a pretty unique video, but I know and a site is uh, quite difficult to get very early on in the game, or it's quite tedious, I should say. Uh, so building an automated system to this is pretty awesome, and you might be seeing on how this can be pretty useful to start uh, automating some other processes and some other ore generation. So uh, definitely subscribe if you're interested in any of that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next one.